All right, in this tutorial, we're going to work on, continue working on our bird, but we want to introduce some uh, alpha brushes. So to create them, it's really easy. Basically, all I did for this one, I pulled the image off the internet, and these are uh, bird feathers, probably chicken, and uh, just take it off the background layer. I just duplicated it uh, by dragging it here. And the first thing I did was I went to image and mode, and it probably was in RGB mode, and I went to grayscale, and it'll say, do you, are you sure you want to confirm it? This say yes, and this is in our uh, grayscale mode, just black and white. The second thing is, uh, I've played around with the contrast, image contrast, and that's just an adjustment, brightness and contrast, and you want the really the whites to really pop out as much as you can. And then I use my uh, paint tool, and I wrote, really high on my paint tool size like this and I just knocked it down once all the way around and then ultimately uh, went down on my brush size again and knocked it down where it's completely black on the edges. This is important when you're using it as a brush and ZBrush. So let's go ahead and open up ZBrush and we'll open up our bird a load tool and uh, let's go bird, I'll open, I'll drag in my bird. And what we'll do is go ahead and go to edit. And for this one, I'm going to go ahead and go up on my geometry up to six. And I want to do one more to seven, just because I've played around with this uh, alpha. So let's go ahead and load. So right here, we should uh, import. And I'll go to my desktop. I think it's on my desktop. And load in my feather. You can do a PSD. See my feather right here, hit open. Yeah, what do I want to do? I don't, I want to not do dots, but I do want to keep my brush uh, on. Intensity is at 25, brush size at 64. Uh, focal length that's at zero. So I'm going to go ahead and click on here. I want to do the drag uh, rectangle for uh, my brush. So I go ahead and drag that on. And I go for the back, just hit your command key. And all I'm doing is just dragging. And you just want to kind of get the feathers to go in the right direction. All right. So let's get up close. The intensity may be too much. Okay, so I'll hit Apple Z. Go down to about 20. Okay, we just want it nice and subtle. Just look like it has bird feathers on it. All right. So I'll have to go look back at our picture of our bird. I forgot how much it is covered on the belly, but I'm just going to go around and add these details. And I, I do it from far away. Try to get them all on the same size. Definitely all in the right direction. Okay, we're just trying to create some sort of textures with this. Doesn't have to be correct, but once we apply the color on it, we won't see this, but it'll add a little bit of dimension to it. If we do our normal map baking on it, it'll look really nice. Okay, let's just try to cover hitting Alt to move it up. Probably as you get further back, you could probably get on down under intensity.
and if you try a, a single feather, or you find a better image than what I did. Okay, when I hit X, turn off my symmetry. So I can start building at the, the center of the chest here. Top of each other. Again, experiment with different types of alphas. This is, this is a real quick go. Symmetry back on and add one in here. Alright, it may not look well, but it's, it's a start to get some textures on your bird. I think you know, once we get shifty, shifty, okay, we're just trying to get some textures on there. Alright. Down in intensity. It's going to feather. I think the feathers are going to get tighter and tighter, or smaller and smaller once we get up close. It's real fine feathers. Alright. So now I'm gonna go ahead, go to my tree here. down if, if you don't like it. Knock out the wing here. I think it'll look better once we uh, start putting some color on it, but again, these feathers didn't come out as well as I hoped. It doesn't really look like feathers at all. But uh, anyways, experiment around and maybe want to try some better looking feathers than I, I have. I think once we add a color, it's going to look a lot better. All right, so let's go ahead and work on the feet a little bit. Again, I did this with a, uh, a mouse, maybe with a Wacom tablet, it would work a little bit better. So let's go ahead and do the, the clay buildup on the feet. Here's our foot. Go ahead and go to my clay build up. Make sure X, click on X so it's done symmetry. And we go close. And start working on Details on the feet. Right. So, if you ever see a chicken like that, have like these little ribbings around their feet. Building it up. Don't want to be shy about getting it. Once they down hard on their 
Quicken tablet. Alright, so now I'm going to hold down my shift. Let's turn. And I'll see a little bit. This would be a really good time to bring out your image, make sure you're doing this right. Because I really don't know what they look like. Just kind of remember what they look like. Alright, let's just keep going around. Hey, my alt, I think I'm back over here. Just do a couple more bands. Make sure your X is on and still on the same side. A lot of these bands will get lighter and lighter as we go up. So I hit shift. Let's go. Smooth these out. I'll go up on my sides of my brush. Shift key. Let's try to get some leather look to it. Smooth it looking so it doesn't look so, uh, make it look a little bit more random. There we go. That's looking pretty good. On the toes real quick, do the same thing. We'll go you know, with a, a tighter brush. So instead of 20, we'll go 12. Not going to do the bottoms. It's a little tough. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go up on your maybe to nineteen on this. Let's try to create some surface on here. Be afraid to make them ugly because uh, chicken feet are not the prettiest of the things. Alright, so I'll just kind of create. Very tip. We'll try to pull that out later. Alright, so let's go ahead. Go up on our uh, sides. Oops, our intensity. Sides of the brush. Lock this down. Shift, and smooth it out. I'm gonna smooth it out too much on the, the uh, Apple Z. Hit shift. All right. So on this toe, I'm gonna go ahead and use my move tool, and it looks like a. 
a drop. And what I'm going to do is try to move this out, get it more of a claw. Good, actually, that's pretty good. All right, so we'll do the rest of the feet. Do one more, and then uh, hopefully you get the idea. Let's do the back uh, leg. So we go ahead and go to clay build up. And spin around again. Make sure uh, you have X on. So it's still on whatever you're doing on one side, you're doing on the other. Check that real quick. Alright. So now I'll work on the back of this leg. It's going to be hard because of your tail feathers are getting in the way. So I'm just clicking in that black space. This thick right here, just like on the front one where the claw is coming out, that was a nice effect. Alright, so I'll go underneath, pull these around, really add some textures to these feet, and add some texture to the bottom of the, the bird accent. Sure did. Shift. Add out. I don't want to ever see it. Okay. And, and smooth this out, we've got shift. Alright, so let's go back to our move tool. Looks like a little drop. Zoom in. And sometimes if you get stuck like this, you can hit scale edit an object and I'll give it back so we can see alright, it's not looking ah, not looking bad I'm trying to get to the feet here So on your own, I want to go ahead and finish up the feet. I'll do that also. See the little details are starting to add up and then it'll really make a difference. I also will make a one feather uh, thing for this so we can start adding some detail here. All right, you may want to go ahead and sculpt in the face a little bit, but I'm not gonna spend too much time on this.